All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai 922. Okay. It's been a while. A long while. <laughs> I did the Kumagawa thing, you know, what have you. Um, very tell. Today I kind of been marathoning Madaka Box, like really marathoning it to like the point where I almost don't do any reviews. All right, anyway, fairy tale. Um, this was chapter three hundred thirteen. Um, King Scenario is called. This one was pretty interesting. Now, I want to give this a four. I thought it was pretty good. I'm gonna give this a four. Now, surprisingly enough, the Madaka Box chapter didn't come out today. <laughs> this week, so... You know, that uh, prevents me from doing a, a review on that, but moving on. It could just a four because of... Poor, probably because of Two reasons. Number one, the fight between Urza, Kagura, and Minerva, and Minerva herself. And number two, sort of how things are moving along. How in this chapter, Hero's doing the right thing with, you know, it seems like Gaju is going to go fight Rogue. Org is going to fight Loxus. But, obviously in the beginning, as I see here, we get the introduction with... In the, in the, let's get into the summary right now. Basically, we have Slucy, the doppelganger Lucy, uh, is there. And everyone's like wondering, oh, how is it possible, you know? And saying, how, what story hides behind these tears? And you see it's Lucy's there. And... They did wondering, you know, oh, it's from Adalas or Gemini. No, you should have learned about the great. And she's like saying about the gates of the eclipse, granting grass time. I can we, and then she said she came from the future. So she came through the gate, the eclipse gate, and that's where she came from. Now. We don't see her right arm, hand, so it could be suggested that she's missing her right hand, right arm. So more or less. Anyway, um, and, and she says, soon this country will be, and then she falls. And we go from that, and Lucy's saying, this doesn't feel right, why would I? Um, and then they decide to take her with with them, and they're gonna pull up a signal and and tell the others that they've rescued Lucy. Then we go back to the princess and that guy, the guy from the minister and what have you. And long story short, really don't want to get too much into the details with this, but basically. The conversation that they have is about the Eclipse door and everything. Um, and he's like saying, oh, you needed the Celestial Mage in order to open the Eclipse. Um, to me. And she says, indeed, especially since I already had hands on all 12 keys I got myself. But... And she says she's already opened the door. And I was like, okay. She basically used the keys already, the princess. And what she entails now, the whole thing, putting him in the dungeon, I, I just found that was very weird. But anyway, she's used them already. And she could, all she has to do is go to the door and go like this. And she'll open it. 
but she wanted consultation with she wanted to consult with um, a cardius and this guy before she did that and she wants to know the result of the magic games so that's she's basically saying to him um whether and she says whether or not we open the gates will d depend on the results of the tournament just as I observe now and then after those words we go into Urza Minerva and Kaga I'm going to say this as clear as I possibly can. Minerva will go down. When Hiromashima has finished Fairy Tale, she will go down as one of the best antagonists. Possibly of the whole series. And I do not shit you. This is a, a, a character that you gotta hate, but you like at the same time. It's one of those things. And th there was a line she said, oh, that she's the king and all, you know. It's like, okay. So what ends up happening is, they're giving a really ugly stare to Minerva, obviously. And she says, it's time I show you how a real king fights. And this moment when um, Kagura goes right after Minerva, and she says, "Oh, well, you'll be the second ti the second tiger I devour," and she attacks her. But when it happens, she split switches places with Urza. I was like, whoa. That's fucking awesome. Another point from Minerva. She sits... I literally want to say this. She shits on every fucking villain antagonist in Fairy Tale. Everyone. Uh, Raven Tail, she shits on it. Uh, Gilmore Hearts, shits on it. Uh, you know... She does. This is great. And she switched places with Urza. And now it seems like Urza is going to be fighting Kagra. And. And then Urza is saying, oh, I got switched in. And this, this is an interesting scene with, with um, uh, Kagra and Urza clashing swords. And then. And Minerva just p puts, you know, Miliana away, and she says, oh, the winner will be my prey. And I'm like, damn, bitch, you, you nasty. Ha ha ha, Minerva. Hey, come on, come on. End of the day, as bad as his arc's been, you've got to give Hero props for how he did Minerva. She's one evil bitch. So, and she's on her way, and um, and then she's like calling herself a king, which I didn't understand. I was like, well, okay, yeah, all right, that, that's all right. <laughs> and this is the, and then she's like, while she's leaving, remember this: a king must win using all means necessary. And then we see Urza looking at her and saying, "Give Miliana back." And then, and this is what I fucking hate about Kagura. She looks, she's, you know, you know, putting her head down and saying, don't you dare pretend to be her friend. Kagura, I have a question. Um, did Giala like give you crabs or something? I'm gonna laugh at your ass off when you hear me say that. But, Conqueror, shut the fuck up. You're a fucking bitch wearing wear whatever you're wearing there. Oh, by the way, when well, you saw Giada, you were like this. You were about to throw up. So fuck you. 
but I dig Minerva. Once again, I must applaud Hiromashima. Minerva for the motherfucking win. She likes dirty. And that's one of the reasons why I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. Minerva. And to some extent, what happens after we go, we have the Urza fight continuing. And, and she says, I'll leave you be. And and then and then um, Urza is telling her it seems she's got the best of us. Seems she says silence. I'll strike you down and devour the younger lady. And I'm like, give me a fucking break, <laughs> you stupid hoe, Kagura. Then we go to Gaju. Now two dragon slayers. Yeah, Gaju, boxes. And more or less, what happens is they're running down. You see Gaju, and he bumps into. Rogue. And he says, persistent bastard archer. I'm not like Salamander, so don't expect any mercy. And then we go into the this this large area court with this tower there. And we see Orga and Boxes. I, I'm pretty sure everyone knew this was going to happen. But still. And he says, we finally meet Lax's Black Lightning, so you notice, indeed, my lightning slays gods. Killing gods ain't nothing compared to killing fairies? Um, Loxus, why did you say that? But anyway, it was a one-liner, so he said that. And then we go from that to, you know, everyone's uh, coining their eye on, the, on those matches, and everyone sees what's going on. And we see the princess. Um... And then she's saying to him that he's going to the princess and that, you know, Dalton saying, will it really end the way that person predicted? I'm skeptical. That's what makes it a supposed outcome, a catch-22. And then we see um, Sting. He's standing there and he says, how dirty of our lady. They all carry their own reasons. Well, it's fine with me if everyone wants to do as they please. Final day of the tournament, how bright will their spirits burn? The scenario came up with, I came up with, brings us the ultimate victory. Watch me shine, Lecter. And it says, to, con to be continued in chapter 314, Urza versus Kagura. So, overall, this was a good chapter. Four out of five. Um... I'm wondering what Sting is doing, what he means. Now, if this scenario that the princess was told about goes down the way it's going down, supposedly, you know. But see, here's the way I think of it. I, I do want to say that Fairy Tale's going to win because, you know, I mean, Loxus, if he wins and Gaju wins, then that's the story there. I mean, the, this, the, but the whole point is, you, they, they, Urza's got to beat Kagura, and she also has to beat Minerva for them to win. I want to say that maybe Sting pulls out something and he beats Majority, but we'll see. I mean, it. it it's skeptical at best, but whatever happens, this is going to have some kind of conclusion where it's going to entail that um, the princess is going to open the eclipse door. The only question is what happens afterwards. Remember what I said? This eclipse plan has to sell. If this eclipse plan sucks, this arc was pointless. And the reason why I say that is because these Mudri's fights were bad. Were horrible. You know, you gotta really, you know, Hero's gotta really do something about this. Because if he doesn't, got nothing to show for it. But overall, a good chapter of Fairy Tale, Minerva. Best antagonist of Fairy Tale. Period. Or she definitely belongs in the top five. Of the of the of antagonists of villains of fairy tale, no questions asked. 
Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys from Bonkai 922, 4 out of 5. Good chapter, fairy tale. We'll see if Hero can move forward with this and get through this Eclipse plan, see what's, how it's going to go down. You know, write, comment, subscribe, you know the story. Tell me what you guys think about it. And, uh, Comic Doc Hero is supposed to come out Sunday, so I'll do that. I'll see if I can do anything else tonight. I doubt it. But I will see. I will see. We will see. Tomorrow, I will get to the nitty gritty and watch all this shit and do reviews. So yeah. It's from Balkan 922. I will see you guys later.